Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I will be demonstrating Activity 4 under Listening, Speaking, and Writing. The children will be making my tree book, a my tree book. Well, they will be uh, illustrating also different types of trees that they have been learning in science. And uh, to begin this activity, to just to construct the booklet, you will need uh, any color construction paper. Okay? And also, you will need two sheets of the white paper. Okay? And what you do first, you can take your white paper and just crease it in half, the two sheets together. Okay? And then take the construction paper and crease that. This is going to be a little booklet. Then you can open it up, so we're going to use a different type of stapler, and we're going to staple it in the inside. Okay? So put the staple here. Staple. I'm going to put probably three. One, two, and three. Okay. Now the little booklet is ready. But we need to title it. And the title of this book is it's titled My Tree Booklet. So I'm going to go ahead and title it. And then uh, My and M Y for and then Tree T R E E and then Book. And of course, you know, we're always recommending uh, it's, it's so important that they're constantly writing because they're reading the word. So now it looks like this, and they can illustrate their own little tree on the front cover. Now, how are they going to be able to, to uh, draw pictures with different types of trees? We'll provide uh, visuals for them, and you can just provide different types of trees, okay? Like this, you, know, you, you can purchase these cards, and just the different types of trees. They have been learning about the coniferas, and, and by this time, they they're already know they, they can identify what type of tree it is. And just by looking at this one, look, it's lost its leaves. So they know what it is, a deciduous tree. And also, and don't worry if you can't find pictures, camera. This was taken by a camera. Look at this beautiful tree. Look how bright they are. Golly, those are just awesome. And uh, here's another one. Different sizes, different shapes. It's another tree. See, just provide them with all kinds of pictures so they'll, they'll be able to, to, uh, to illustrate. And also, you can just show pictures of trees and, ju and just put it, put it in an area wherever they're working. Just the different types of trees. See, so they can be able to draw. See? So once they have all this to work with, them, they can decide what, uh, what pictures they're going to draw and if you look I'm going to go inside and you can see for example they drew a tree and then they have to write what type of tree is it a deciduous tree or is it a coniferous tree and by using the pictures it helps them decide they decide on their own what type of tree and remember what's important about this activity is that the purpose of, of doing this activity is to promote reading it promotes reading it also allows children to explore the vocabulary that they're learning. And they're also able, it, it reinforces what they learn in science, you know, because they'll be drawing the coniferas and the deciduous trees. So it, it reinforces and everything goes back to the science, which is the hub of the learning wheel. And, uh, and if you look at it, this is another way. This book is long. Why do you think it's long? Why is this book long? Because trees are long. Do we have to tell the children that? No. No, we don't. The brain will, will register this independently. Because we want them to draw the trees because they, by, by now they know that trees are tall and we want them tall. And it also adds novelty to the activity. And also provide a sample. Because one thing we want every child to feel good about themselves. So when you provide a sample, they're, they're able to do the activity. They're able to do and, and draw and write and they feel successful. So this concludes uh, activity number four. Thank you.